Hey, we're joined now by the cinematography winner, Joshua James Richards. Joshua, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. I'm um, a little shocked, a little shaken over here. I mean, you, you mentioned growing up in Penzance, so I venture to guess that you might have watched the BAFTAs in the past growing up? Growing up watching the BAFTAs, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, look, it was a childhood dream just to, to come to, you know, just to be making movies. Um, and then to come to America was a childhood dream. Going to NYU was a childhood dream. Um, I think BAF, winning a BAFTA was a little bit off my radar, to be honest. Well, I'm sorry to have you know shocked you with it now, um, but there you go. Um, so, I mean, you, you worked with Chloe obviously before on the Rider. I mean, how has she changed? Did it feel like very much the same person coming back to do to do Nomadland? Oh yeah, you know we try and keep each other in check with that kind of thing. Um, you know, <laughs> we we kind of approach our films starting with you know the point of human connection. Uh, so I think, you know, it's, it's really important to keep ourselves grounded, I think. Yeah. And what was your priority in, in, in terms of this film? And, and, you know, what was your kind of starting point for, uh, for finding Fern and finding the story? I think it's a continue of the exploration we'd already been doing, you know, with our previous films. Mm. Um, I was also developing a kind of a just a new kind of language in the movement of the camera, which it just sort of coincided uh, with Nomadland and that was sort of a language I felt I was already working on. And then when Chloe told me about this film, I was so excited because I, I had um, a lot of new ideas and ways of developing the kind of visual approach that we'd, that we'd started with the rider and some of my brothers taught me. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah. All right, well, I mean, I it's, it's a weird, one, sorry. Man. Yeah, I I'm think they put me on the start and then, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Sorry, no, go ahead. No. Um, I just have a question coming in from one of the press corps. It's Ben Dalton at screen who says, congratulations, first of all. Um, having shot in both the US and UK, what do you feel are the key differences for you as a DOP? Oh, yeah, there's actually, yeah, there's a real different vernacular uh, in the UK. It was really interesting for me when I came back and shot God's Own Country because I realized my career is American. Um, so there is a def there's a different um, technical language. Um, there's also, it's it, like with it being smaller and kind of more of a, a village industry, there's something nice about that. You know, everyone, it's a very small world in England, but mm -hmm. as a result, that there's more of a community, a little bit more support, I would say. In America, uh, very competitive, you know, um, yeah. It, it really is the, uh, the you know, it's, it's, it's really grounded in the culture of this country as well. So it's um, a little bit more of a rat race, I would say. Yeah. Okay. So one final question, which actually kind of ties into that. Neil Smith at BBC News Online asks, how do you rate your chances at the Oscars? <laughs> you tell me, guys. I, you know, <laughs> right now I'm just enjoying this moment. Um, you know, I'm also just truly honoured to be considered in this group of nominees. Um, I'm so inspired by all the work those guys are doing. Um, so that's all I can say really. Right now I'm just riding, riding high, so. <laughs> well, awesome, Melissa, congratulations again. Hope you get to celebrate in some fashion tonight. And, uh, and yeah, thanks no, so much I wish for joining I was us. Drinking. I wish I was having a drink <laughs> with Thomas Dinker though, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can Skype in, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Cool. Well, thank you so much. All right.